Well, hello, best friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, what's up? My name is Sin, and I make wigs and give you guys easy tutorials to, you know, finesse that hairline. You feel me? All right, so today I am doing a video on silicone mix. I get asked quite a, quite a bit on my videos because I do mention it that I use it every time I wash my hair. So I'm gonna just show you guys the process that I use. It's very simple. It's nothing like too hard. They do have instructions on the bottom of the bottle, so I would just say follow the instructions. But you know me, I kind of deviate from that plan and I usually leave silicone mix on longer on my hair just so it could penetrate and make the strands soft, especially if it's color treated hair like this or if it's curly hair, just any type of hair that tends to get dry quicker. But you know what, I typically just use it on all of my extensions and my wigs and I tell all of my customers and I even tell you guys, use silicone mix. It will keep your wigs healthy and looking nice. It'll give it a nice shine. It'll make your hair silky. It'll help your hair flowy. It'll just revert your hair back to the state when you first got your hair and you applied it the first time and it was just bomb. Okay, so if you want to see how I use silicone mix, which is really easy, then keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Best Friends because that helps me make more content for you guys. All right, so let's, let's get into washing this wig. All right, best friend, so this wig is from Cranberry. I did do a whole tutorial on how I got the colors and the streaks on it. So this is a color treated hair. I did use box dye, but as you can see, she's kind of frazzled and dry. So we're gonna bring her back to life, all right? So I am gonna wet her thoroughly. Just drench her up, make her wet. My boyfriend is just over here working his camera, okay? I see you. <laughs> so we're gonna wet her. And you do not have to detangle her right now because the silicone mix is going to help you detangle her, all right? So I'm going to wet her up and I am going to get my Garnier Fructis. I love this shampoo. It smells so bomb. I either use Garnier Fructis or my Pantene Pro-V in the brown bottle. I love those two for my extensions. Um, they just make my hair smell good great and it's soft all right so i'm gonna put a couple of pumps in my head lather it up and i am going to wash the lace you have to wash the lace get all that got to be and glue out of your lace and just you know just suds up your wig clean it get all the buildup that you have in your hair sprays wax all of that you want to clean your hair so i am going to just massage that in there lightly finger detangle not too much but just you know get her clean So I'm really taking my time and working on the lace to just remove all the excess makeup, the glue, and everything that I usually put on my wigs, okay? And so I usually, um, you know, do the shampoo at least twice. And so after I thoroughly rinse her out, I'm going to wring out the excess water out because I just feel like silicone has so much slip. If your wig is too wet that product will slip right off the hair okay so you want to wring the hair out get all of that excess water out of the hair and then you can apply the silicone mix onto your wig Now, I use this so much, I always buy the bigger jars. They have a bigger jar than this. But, um, so I, this, I bought that one, okay? And so I always have it on hand because I'm always doing wigs. And I am just going to make sure that it's coating the wig thoroughly. Every strand needs to have this on. The lace needs to have it on there because we want to, you know, hydrate 
the knots the knots are processed as well because we did bleach those and I just want to make sure that you know they still they stay moisturized and everything because I do not want shedding and so after I do that I am going to take my Denman brush and I am going to comb through the hair and the comb is just going to slide and glide through so easily and it's not going to really give you any problems now because the silicone mix has so much slip I really love silicone mix because like I said it does give your hair a sh like a shine it, it just gives it a nice luster if you do have color treated hair it'll make those strands um, strong and you'll have less shedding so like I say definitely use this on your color treated hair your wigs in general um, after I apply the silicone mix, I, you can leave it on as long as you want to. I think the bottle says 15 minutes. I think 5 to 15 minutes. But if I have the time, I will leave my silicone mix on all day. Like, I will put it in a plastic bag and just let it sit and, you know, get all of that deep conditioning going on. So, um, let it sit for as long as you want to have it sit and... <laughs> And yes, you let it rinse it, rinse it out, let it air dry, and style it to your liking. And your strands will be smooth, your hair will be flowy, it will have that nice luster to it. It'll just look so fresh, okay? And so that's the outcome of it. If you guys want to see the review on this hair and how I got my highlights, then you I will leave the tutorial down below and at the end of this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Silicone Mix is life. Use it on your wigs. Bye, best friends.